Hey, it's Adam from Halipad Real Estate and... Adam from Halipad Real Estate, which, which makes, makes us... us... Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Hashtag Adam and Adam. <laughs> what are we doing today? Yeah. Where, where are, are we right now? We're, right now we are at Horseshoe Park. Which at is the bottom of Quinpool. Is this the bottom? Uh, you know. I would or is this the top? Well, let's yeah. say we're at the start of Quinpool. There's the no start. top or bottom. Yeah, okay. But the rotary is right over there. Because today we are touring Quinpool as part of our hashtag Live Love Local community video segments. Yeah, man. Sequence series. So what? Uh, series. What, what's on the dock today? Uh, I think we're going to go and visit with uh, some friends at uh, Garrison Oxford Tap Room. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Can't wait to have a beer. But I think we're going to do that after we get our exercise on uh -oh. at uh, East Peak Climbing. Talking about dessert. Oh yeah, <laughs> talking about dessert right now. Good segue. <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the sweet hereafter. Yeah. Uh, famous cheesecakery. Yeah. Do we call it a cheesecakery? I don't know. I like the word. I like cheesecakery. The, I like the. You know. I like the word too. Purcell, uh, do we call it a cheesecakery? Yeah. Okay. He says yeah. He, okay. He's saying yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're famous cheesecakery at the other end of Quinpool. Yeah. And then we're gonna eat some cheesecake. Well, I can't that wait. where we're gonna eat some cheesecake. Let's uh, you know, let's in, indulge. Yeah. Let's do that. You know what? What? I kind of feel like. A quick, little, a, a quick little dip. Let's, let's head on in. I feel I feel like a quick little dip too. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, Ready? let's go. <laughs> Just kidding. <We're> kidding. <laughs> Adam. Yes, Adam. Where are we for our first stop today? We are at East Peak Climbing, where there's no place like home. I think that's more of a slogan for Quinpool. I think that's... Which I love. I love you know, the area. And that, yeah. you know, what's Quinpool? It's... Uh, the West End. The West End, that's right. And that's yeah. where we are today. That is exactly where we are today. We're standing at the corners of Quinpool and Oxford, and we're going to go in and see our friends at East Peak Climbing. Let's get her rock on. Yeah. I am Jackie Turner. I am the owner and operator of East Peak Climbing. Um, and we are an indoor rock climbing facility. We are a full service facility, so we have three different styles of climbing. Our third anniversary is on March 1st. March 1st, not February 29th? Well, there's no February 29th this oh, year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a good outtake. My favorite event that we've ever done and one of my favorite memories here was our first birthday party. Um, we knew it had to be a big celebration because it was just such a miracle that we had made it through the pandemic and that it, we were able to celebrate. Um, so we did a cosmic climbing night. We had glow lights and people wore some funny costumes and glow sticks and um, that was a really fun, really memorable event. Your Community friend. is the, the center of everything that we do. Um, we serve our climbing community, but we are so we love being a part of the kind of greater Quimpool community. Um, we have so many of our members that live in the area that walk here. There's kids that walk here for their programs every day, members that come in a few times a day just to say hi or getting their coffee next door. We have great neighbors all around us and, and the business community on Quimpool is pretty close knit. So we just, there's nowhere else we'd rather be. We're so lucky to be on such a vibrant, exciting street. A, a really common misconception of about climbing is that you have to be really strong to do it. You have, a lot, have to have a lot of upper body strength or that it's mostly for kids. Those are all false. If you can climb a ladder, you can climb a wall. <laughs> Usually what's holding people back if they can't climb is that they're scared, not that they are weak. So we have, in addition to our regular members who come a few times a week, we have lots of drop-ins, people that just come in, decide to come in and try it. Uh, it's a fun date night, it's a fun thing to do as a family, it's a great thing to do with your friends. It's a really cool and different way to stay active. And the path from just being a drop-in to getting hooked and becoming a member is much simpler, much shorter than people generally anticipate. So. I just hope that people know that they shouldn't be intimidated to come in and try it. Adam Wigmore, grabbing for the footholds. I think I can. <laughs> oh, a little hesitation. He's halfway up. I don't know where to go from here. You go up. <laughs> you got this. I am nervous to let go, to be honest with you. Remember, you got to let him let go both hands at a time, at the same time, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, you let both hands at the same time. Adam Wigmore, breaking legs since 1985. <laughs> this is top. <laughs> so what do I do? Trust it. 
<laughs> oh, he did it. He did it. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know where to, to go. You got her, buddy. <laughs> Here we have middle-aged Spider-Man. Nope. Climbing the new heights. My legs are shaking like a little chihuahua. <laughs> you can do it. Got her, buddy. Yeah. Just like his real estate career, it is taking off. Soon he'll be climbing the Roy building. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, All right. You got this. Come on, buddy. Right foot way up. Yeah, there you go. Now you're off. Okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm out of juice. <laughs> Gotta work on that leg strength. I gotta do more lunges. Whew! I wanna climb. What a uh, climb. Oh. Uh. East Peak climbing is uh, a really good spot, eh? It is fantastic. Get I, the blood flowing? Man, I, uh, I will definitely be back to this place. It uh, was my, invigorating. My forearms are very sore. Man, you did great. And tired. It looks very hard, but I felt uh, super secure. I did. I felt really you safe, know. too. And like, you were a Superman coming down from that uh, automatic belayer up there. Oh, that took... But, I mean, it, like I did have my hes hesitations about it. But then as soon as I let go, it uh, it, it was there to, you know... Yeah. I'm, sh I'm shaking like a little chihuahua. Yeah, well, you, but the key thing, I think, is not to look down. Not, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, yeah, not looking down. That's that's true. You yeah. guys kept talking to me, so I hadn't... I kept... You know, it was an automatic reaction. We, were, down. we were encouraging you. Yeah. We were <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate the encouragement, but you know, when somebody's talking to you, you're like, huh? Yeah. So, you know. Huh. Anyways, East Peak Climbing, great place to come, bring the family, get some exercise, spend a date night, have some they, fun with the friends. Kids' uh, birthday parties, fantastic yep. uh, venue for it. They have yep. a separate room upstairs that they, uh, they can teach the kids climbing before they come down here. It's... Uh, yeah, yeah I'm conveniently located in the Quinpool area. Conv yeah, 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 fantastic location. I'm thirsty. I'm very thirsty. Should we? Uh, Let's go to Garrison, Garrison for a beer. Let's go to Garrison for a beer. All right. Yeah. Uh. Man, what a workout. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can walk too far. <laughs> well, it's a good thing the bar's right here. Oh man, where are we going? We're going to the Garrison Oxford Tap Room. Let's head on in. Let's head on in. My name is Courtney. I'm the manager at the Oxford Tap Room, which is a sister location to Garrison Brewing, who was owned and operated by Brian Titus. We opened up in November 2019, and just a year ago, we had the pleasure of opening up West Ender Cafe. How we tried to really incorporate communities, we actually don't have a kitchen. So what we do is encourage folks to bring in food from all the amazing restaurants along Quinpool. Otherwise, just bring in your own leftover pasta, whatever. You can, you know, bring your own charcuterie board. We've seen it all. But yeah, in that sense, too, we really get to know a lot of the owners of these businesses along Quinpool. Um, it's just a really great place to be. Um, it's very diverse. There's folks from all walks of life um, from all over the world. You really see it in our demographic here. So even if you look around here, uh, we have a meeting of women from upstairs that are probably retired. They come here every Friday afternoon um, to students that have been studying up there since, since September. And then everybody in between. So the late night rolls around, you can really see everybody. Another big draw for us is, of course, the dogs. So we were just chatting about the dogs here. They are a huge hit. So, you know, you go out to walk the dog, Go back a couple hours later, everybody's happy. And then other than that, people bring in a bunch of different pets, cats, we've seen a bird. It's been, yeah, been great. West Ender has been just a really great addition to us. People that maybe don't necessarily drink beer or don't know enough about Garrison have come in and now they know coffee. So now they're like, oh, didn't know this was here. I was a coffee drinker. So that's just opened us up to a world of more people. This is uh, Garrison's second location. We've been down on the waterfront for the last 17 years um, and just really wanted to expand. We have a really great hold downtown. We have, of course, the cruise ships that come in, um, but that's a lot of walkthroughs, you know, people visiting from all around Canada, all around the world. What we wanted here to bring it back to that world, where it is community, just having those regulars. So our staff work at both locations. 
what we always like to tell them, it's, it's a different world. Right here, that connection you're making is, is just as important, but a little bit different. We want to get to know your name. We want to know your order. We want to know your dog's name. One of my favorite memories is is going to be a little surprising. It's um, actually around the COVID time when, uh, of course, our tap room was shut down and we only had our bar, or our, sorry, our, um, our bottle shop open. And um, basically the dogs were just, people had to walk their dogs on different sides of the street because they would be pulling to come in and they didn't understand. Of course, they can't come in and get their treat. So it was like, you know, heartbreaking, but also really nice to hear how much we were missed by not only humans, but dogs as well. A neat opportunity at Oxford that we actually haven't had as a brewery ever is the ability to brew small batches. So when you're, you know, brewing at a scale of Garrison Brewing, your smallest is usually around 30 hectoliters. Here we have a one hectoliter batch. So what that means is that's just two 50 liter kegs, that's it. This gives us a chance to brew Nuts About Molasses, which is a molasses peanut butter beer. We have a peanut butter honey beer on the deck. And then also kind of the craziest beer I've ever seen us brew. Brew. Maybe not. One of them is the Caliente, which is a red IPA brewed with habanero and mango. So it is a beautiful space. It's almost like a little secret. You can't believe you're on Quinn Pool. You're just sitting in this almost someone's backyard, just relaxing. It is maybe one of the sunniest patios you have been to in Halifax. Um, but we also keep it open all year round. We have it heated, covered, we have blankets, there's plenty of seating to have your food out there. We still have some diehard folks that go out January, February, March. And personally, I love the tin roof. So if you wanna go out there on a rainy day, you bring your book and the sound of the rain on the roof is quite nice out there. One of the great things I love about the West End is you get that very, you get that rural community feeling, but in a major city center. Yeah, it's I mean it's close to everything, you it's, know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, your, your minutes to Quinpool. Minutes to Quinpool. Minutes to uh, you know the shopping mall. Yeah, you're not too yeah, far Mumford. from Mumford. That's yep. right. Yeah, and uh, you're maybe a 10 minute drive to downtown Halifax. Yeah, I mean, and you can jump on the 102 yep. moments. You know the yeah because you're uh, the West End is uh, bordering between Quinpool and uh, Shabucto, yep. major arteries in and out of the peninsula. Yep. You're never too far from major transit routes. You're close to public transportation. Yep. Yep. You're a couple minute walk from Quinpool. Downtown's a 10 minute drive away. Uber everywhere in 15 minutes. Tops. That's uber exciting. Isn't, that is uber. Oh, we're about to get some guest appearances. Oh, guest appearance. Hi, doggy. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, you get that very rural community feeling, but in a major city center. Some um, you've got some heritage homes, I think, in the West End. Absolutely. Yeah, you got hundred. Yeah. You get this mix of old and new. Yep. Some really classy architecture. It's uh, it's really interesting walking around the streets of the West yeah. End. You know, a uh, little tight knit community. It is. You yeah. know, it's 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 nice. It, you get a lot of room. There's a lot of public parks. Yep. Um, and the streets are all side streets. There's no there's no major streets except for. Uh, where West End pretty much gets border, which yeah. is Shibakto and Quinpool. We didn't even talk about the Commons. I mean, you're right there on yeah, the Commons. Yeah, we talk about the Commons. That's you, right. You know, uh, if you want, up there. we are going to end up there. Yeah. But uh, I mean, if you want to go play frisbee, you know, I know that they have a lot of crickets. And uh, we're going to go in. Do they have a lot of crickets there? Uh, nothing. Like <laughs> cricket. <laughs> but right now, yeah, we are going to go take a little uh, walk around the neighborhood. We're going to go and continue our trek through. Quinpool, yeah, let's do it. With our many friends. Well, I wish I was in sure. I wish I knew now. some good drinking songs. I don't know good drinking songs. Well, I mean, that was an awesome time at Garrison, wasn't it? It was. It was a great time. Well, I mean, we need some dessert. We do, and it's a good thing that we are at the Sweet Hereafter Artisan Cheesecake. I am Joanne McDougall, and I'm one of the owners of Sweet Hereafter. Um, we are a cheesecakery on Quinpool Road, so all we do in here is make cheesecake, and we bake all of our cheesecake from scratch. Um, nothing is ever frozen, and we make actually more than 100 different flavors. So when you come in on a given day, you never know what's going to be in here. So some of our most popular flavors would be peanut butter chocolate, which is top of the list. It has the little Reese cups on top and vanilla cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake, and peanut butter in the cheesecake. And then the homestyle cherry, of course, everyone remembers that one from their childhood. That one's very popular. Some of our more unique flavors might be ginger pear, which is one of my favorites. It's on a ginger snap crust. And then it has a piece of poached pear inside each slice. And uh, I usually drizzle it with a little bit of caramel. We do a vanilla chai latte that's really amazing. We steep chai tea and that goes right into the cheesecake. And there's some vanilla bean and chai spice in the whipped cream on top. 
So that one's really fun. And then our mini egg cheesecake is one of our most popular all year round, even though we only make it in the spring. I would say the just slightly majority of our business is eat in or take out by the slice. So people come in and choose from what we have available in the showcase that day. That's our, the biggest part of our business, but we also take orders for whole cakes call up and pre-order I need minimum of two days notice just because we make everything fresh and that turnaround time on cheesecake is a lot longer than on regular cake or cupcakes or that kind of thing. Half of our business would be you know just coming in and getting a slice eating in or taking it home and then the other half or slightly less than half would be cakes for birthdays or events. One of my favorite memories that happened here, right here in the restaurant was one, more than once this has happened now, but the first time it happened was so memorable as someone proposed. And um, when, the, when the person that they proposed to said yes, the entire restaurant erupted into cheers and clapping and it was just such a fun event. It's really fun in here in the evenings. We're open quite late. We're open till 9 or 10 p.m. depending on the evening. And it's just a fun, cozy atmosphere with all the candles lit so that when, when you're in enjoying in the evening, it's just, there's a sense of community in here and people really celebrate each other's successes or sometimes our customers will talk to each other and compare, you know, what their favorite flavors are or what they did before they came in whether they went to the movies or went to Neptune or something fun so it's really it, it's this sense of community and fun in here in the evenings when when people are coming in for their date night or in that case of my story to propose and we ended up doing um, cheesecake for their wedding later when they when they ended up getting married as well so that was that was pretty fun Sweet Hereafter opened in 2011, in September of 2011, and back then Quimpool was fairly different than it is now. Quimpool um, had a lot less um, vibrant businesses on it, and there have even been some that have come and gone in that time, but these last 10 years, it has developed into this really beautiful community. There are folks who live on the streets all around or in the buildings that have gone up in the last, you know, five or six years who are, you know, out walking around. You see them walking their dogs. On Saturday mornings, we see runners go by all the time. People love to go out and run down Quimpool Road. So it's a great community in that way is you're right in the middle. It's like not too bad of the traffic and the parking issues of downtown, but close to the downtown and it still has that fun downtown feel where you can walk everywhere and now that Queen Pool Road is so much more built up and there's a lot more businesses you can come and park and then just go to all the different places you want to on Queen Pool before you go and go back home. So I'm stuffed. Man that cheesecake was the bomb. That cheesecake was absolutely delicious. Yeah I think we need to have a quick little walk around the oval. The Amera Oval. oval. <laughs> Located in the Commons. Yeah, which is you it's know, a great place to end our tour. I, I think. think so too. Yeah, I mean you're really in the heart of Halifax right now. Right? Yes. Yep. You absolutely are. There's been some concerts here in the past, right? Yeah. The Commons is a great place to be. I mean, in the winter time, it uh, you know this is a uh, ice rink. Yeah, it is. Yep. And uh, as you can see, you know we still got some snow off to the side here. Yeah. Because uh, you know we're not talking about the time of year or anything like that. But, but people come here, and, you know, is... they spend the afternoon. Uh, I know that a lot of people play cricket. Yeah. Uh, they don't chase the crickets. They don't chase the crickets. There's no crickets here. But they play a I lot. I mean, there of could cricket. be crickets here. Let's not. Let's not. You know. Let's not exclude the crickets. <laughs> there could be crickets here. Uh, I've no, been known to toss a frisbee. Yeah. In this park. Uh, you know what? I, I've been known to uh, throw a baseball. And then we've got a nice little uh, new pavilion being built over there. Yeah. With a brand new pool, and it's going to come with a beach. I should say not come with a beach. They're going to build a beach into it, well, I which mean, is that, going to be pretty cool. That, that, uh, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love I love it. This is a great way to end our tour of the West End, or I should say Quinpool. Because after a long day walking down Quinpool, you got all those delicious treats and beverages. Yeah. You come down here, you spend some time in the sunshine. You got all this fantastic openness here. Baseball games, cricket. Cricket. Not uh, chasing crickets. I see people playing soccer as we speak, you know. Are there people playing soccer Or right now? football, if you will. Football is life. Football is life. Football is life. <laughs> football is life. <laughs> because we're in real estate, uh, we can talk about, you know, the Armory Square and, you know, what a beautiful condo building that is. I mean, could you imagine waking up in the morning, going to sit on that balcony and have your morning coffee and you look out down south over the peninsula? Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty nice way to wake up. It, it, yeah, it's really nice to have a green space in, you know, the heart of Halifax. Yes. You know what? Because it's not that 
common ah. in other major cities. I like what he did there. I did it, Adam Wingmore. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. So you know, we've we've already thanked our friends at the at uh, the Sweet Hereafter, at the Cheesecakery. The Cheesecakery, like, yeah. I love the Cheesecakery. Fantastic cheesecake. Yeah, but we should also thank our friends at uh, Garrison Oxford Tap Room. Absolutely. For uh, inviting us in there and having a quick chat with them, and then of course our East friends Peak. at. Uh, indoor uh sorry east peak indoor climbing yeah i mean yeah. it was such a, a pleasure getting to know all these businesses it around was. the west end and yeah. uh Quimple's, Quimple's area yeah, yeah. Quimple's a great place they've got so much more than than those three businesses but if you're here definitely check those businesses out so if you want any more information on Quinpool and the surrounding area the west end the west end don't yeah. hesitate to reach out to us we got plenty more information we can answer all your real estate questions that's hashtag Adam and Adam here for another hashtag live love local community video at Halipad Real Estate where it's your move. Expect more.